Hey guys, this is Siraljit Gupta and today I want to show you the updated version of Email Cheat one more time. Well, when I launched it on October the 30th, I've been in touch with my customers. I've been hearing their feedback very carefully. I've been listening to what they're telling me. And based on that feedback, I've been creating new features. I've been fixing things, improving things and putting out new versions as I go. Well, this version has some more new features that were suggested by my buyers, by the people who actually use email cheat. So again, I just want to give you a quick review of the new features so that you know exactly uh, what you're getting now. Uh, the first little addition that I want to draw your attention to is this little button over here, which says errors, just click on it and it will show you the list of all the issues that were that happened during the time you were sending the emails or email jeet was sending the emails for you so if there is any issue if there is anything which prevented your email from being sent it will be listed over here you will see the email subject you will see the message that you have from email jeet the error message the email and the date so if you double click on it you will see the email in detail or you will see the full message in detail. So this will actually help you pinpoint where things are failing so that you can set them up correctly. And once you're done, you can just clear it and the entire message queue will be cleared. So that's number one. The number second feature that I want to show you is the facility to actually send to send an email and cancel it while the job is still running so you can see here the job is still running but there's a little cancel button over here and it shows you uh, you know that if you click on cancel this job will go away it will not be completed because many people told me they want to be able to cancel an email that was still being sent so that's now done click on cancel and the queue will immediately stop the email will not be sent so this is one easy way to uh, get rid of jobs that you queued up wrongly. And apart from that, I have built in uh, quite a lot of new error correction, new error checking so that this software runs more smoothly on your computers and that should help remove all the flaws that you were experiencing earlier. All right. So while we're on that topic, I want to tell you that most of the sending issues that you're facing are because of configuration things. For example, people have told me about issues with Amazon SES and, and I just want to show you a little little thing which could tell you why this is happening. So here I am back to Amazon SES and if you've just signed up with Amazon, you will find out or you will find that Amazon does not give you production access by default. So when you freshly sign up, all your emails are actually sandboxed. So they're not being sent to your customers. They are being sandboxed and to be able to send an email through Amazon SES to your customers, you have to request production access. So if you've signed up with Amazon access, Amazon SES, sorry, just make sure that you've requested production access and you've got it. Only then Emailjit will be able to send the emails through Amazon SES. Similarly, SendGrid has a provisioning process. So uh, for the first few hours they might take, they might make you wait while they provision your account and again it's not a big process it it can be done very quickly so you might have to wait till your account is provisioned before you can send emails you can also plug in any smtp account but just make sure again i want to stress on this point that your smtp port is not closed if you have any other smtp port open then port 25 you can feed this information in email sheet when you set it up, for example, right here, you can choose the port that you want. So make sure you put in the correct port number over here. Ask your ISP which SMTP port is open or which port do we need to send SMTP mails and enter that over here. That's one. Secondly, if some of you are using OpenDNS, I, I have found that it actually blocks port 25 in many cases and you will not be able to send out 
the email. So if you're using OpenDNS, I would recommend to use Google DNS, which gives you all the benefits of OpenDNS, but it won't block the port 25. You will be able to send the emails. So these are two issues that I've come across. It's mostly because the port is not configured correctly or the ISP isn't opening the ports. In that case, another approach that I could suggest is to get an account with SendGrid or Mailgun and mail them using the APIs. We support the APIs uh, for many, many professional companies. We support the APIs for SendGrid, for Mailgun, for Mailjet, for Postmark, for Amazon SES. So if you want to, uh, you know, if you want to send your email through SendGrid, uh, you can just put in the API user, API username and API user key and your email will be sent without using the SMTP port. So even if your ISP is blocking the port, you will be able to send the email. So that's one way. I'm going to add the support for Mandrill very soon because many of my customers have requested support for Mandrill API. I'm, I've already investigated it. I've already started investigating it. And hopefully I will be able to give you Mandrill support if the API is capable within 24 to 48 hours and there will be more updates. Like I told you earlier, I'm already working on an opt-in system for email Jeet. So you will be able to create lists online. You will be able to get an opt-in form. You'll be able to opt in your customers online and bring them to bring them to email Jeet. So that's coming up too. So I've given you a quick overview of the new features. I hope you enjoy the new update and it runs better on your computer. If there's a problem, you can always go to my support or approach me and I will do my best to fix it as soon as possible. This is Cyril Cheat Gupta signing out. See you again with a new update with a new video soon.